Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and I uh, just want to um, um, warn everyone that has that error message. I've seen a high number of users that say, "Well, you know, I took, I downloaded the image from Microsoft for Windows 10, completely reinstalled Windows 10 from scratch," and you end up when you do this with the same error message that you get from the update KB503. Uh, 4441. And the reason is simple. Um, the reason, so first of all, for those that are uh, mentioning, well, you know, they uh, should hire better people to check out the uh, updates so that there's no problem. Actually, the problem isn't there because they intentionally sent out this update knowing that it would do that. So it's not that somebody somewhere didn't see that it caused this error. It's that somebody somewhere decided that, oh, let's just push it. It creates this error message, but people will work it out, which is a grave error. You don't ask users to play with partitions. I'm sorry, that is not possible. You don't do that. I don't know who took that decision, but... I don't know. That's the most idiotic person in the world right now at Microsoft. I, I just can't believe that that's being pushed like that. But the other thing is when you, and this is the other thing that makes it even worse, when you do a clean install with Windows, it creates a 500 megabyte partition, recovery partition. And 500 is not enough. So if you do a clean install, completely wipe the drive, create you know a new Windows install with the partitions and everything. It will create a 500 megabyte recovery place, and that 500 megabyte isn't big enough. So you're going to end up after a the install and all the updates that come through with a Windows 10 error on the same um, update, which is really really dumb. You know, at least change the partition size within the install Microsoft. It's just crazy. I can imagine somebody today coming to his computer to install Windows 10. I'm going to install a fresh new copy of Windows 10 and get this error message. The most, um, the other real um, stupid thing that I find, so, you know, they push you an update that you're supposed to deal with, they don't change anything. So if you do a clean install, you'll get the error message because the recovery partition is too small. But to make it even worse, the home users don't have the um, BitLocker. It's not part of the home version. Why are home users getting this update? when you just don't have BitLocker and will not use BitLocker, and it's only for BitLocker security. Okay. So these are all the little things in here that are just crazy. And once again, um, I have to say it because there's still uh, quite a few comments of people panicked here. Um, you know, just ignore it. I, I cannot tell somebody you know, to start playing around with your partitions. It's, it's, this is not a small deal. I mean, you know, some people use apps. They've, some people have used like, you know, partition wizards and stuff like that, that, and fixed it themselves with that. But you can't, you know, you, you can't ask the majority of home users to do that. It's, it, you know, I've, I, there's some people here that have, the knowledge and they're like well i'm i got the knowledge to do it i'm scared of doing it though yeah because because playing with partitions means you could you know have a pc that doesn't boot anymore so anyways um i think the best thing is to ignore it it's it's as simple as that i've got a video where you can hide it um what i've seen is that the updates install all the other updates install is just that one 
Um, could it prevent, that's a question I get from a lot, could it prevent the future updates um, to install? Well, that, hopefully not. Um, hopefully not. And um, we'll see. It was, it was sent as a separate update, I think, for a specific reason. Uh, because if it would have been, um, you know, integrated into the general security updates, that would have been the biggest problem in the world because none of the security updates would have installed. So uh, we'll see, and always as weeks go by and follow the channel, we're going to, you know, work around and and see what happens. And um, you know what, Microsoft, I think we'll need to address this. Uh, they sometimes are slow at, you know, coming back to users with some fix or some change, but definitely Microsoft needs to deal with this. I uh, I still think that it's a nonsense that you ask users to 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 play with partitions uh, just because you decided to do a little change here, and especially for something that most people don't use, and that that's that's even worse. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.